guys, P here, N6QW, and I'm showing you a top view of my uh, second version of the ZL2 CTM SDR transceiver. And I wanted to point out a few things here that uh, may be useful for you to understand. This right here is the TC 3.5, and it's plugged into the codec board. And this is what's doing all the heavy lifting of the I and Q uh, data that's developed off of the RATIC board. Essentially we have a bandpass filter right here and that bandpass filter goes into this special uh, bifiller wound transformer. It's a summer transformer. It's also a splitter. So it takes the RF in at 7 megahertz passing through the bandpass filter, uh, put, makes two channels out of it, and then in turn we have a 74 AC74 that takes a 28 megahertz uh, output out of the SI5351 and uh, gives you a quadrature output at 7 megahertz to divide by 4. And this goes into two ADE ones. There's one here and there's one obscured right at this point here. So the action is the RF coming in, the LO uh, produces the I and Q channel, and they go into these two um, uh, modem transformers. These provide a little bit of isolation. Of course, direct conversion receivers are very su subject to noise. And then I have a special uh, transformer here because I found on transmit uh, using this scheme, unless you did a signal reversal, you'd be receiving on lower sideband and transmitting on upper sideband. So the uh, there's a crisscross here so that on transmit, the I and Q channels are reversed so that it transmits on lower sideband and receives on lower sideband. And then from there, the uh, this ribbon cable here uh, takes the uh, six connections, the two grounds which are isolated, and the uh, two signal leads uh, of the I and Q, the two channels, so you got four total. And they go into this little connector right here that's uh, processed into the codec board. And uh, from there, the um, S, uh, the TC 3.5 um, does all this uh, di digital signal processing using the Hilbert transformers. Here is a audio output, and this little device right here is is an isolator. And the problem is with the codec board, and this is actually sold by the people that sell the TC. If you if you mix the grounds of the of the circuit ground with the audio ground. Uh, you have this terrible whine noise. So what this does is provides isolation. I think it's two back-to-back -back transformers is really what it is. And this goes into the audio amplifier stage, which is an NE5534 and an LM380, so plenty of output. To make sure that we got clean power going into the Teensy 3.5, the SI5351, and the codec board, I have a meanwhile it takes a 9 to 18 volts DC input and produces 5 volts DC at 2 amps. So this thing is way overrated, but uh, certainly uh, the uh, voltage isolation off the main rail is certainly helpful. Then the signal from the bandpass filter goes into this special circuit, which is can be a 2N2219 or a 2N3866. These two transformers steer this signal so that it ends up being the uh, receiver RF amplifier and the transmit pre-driver and from this stage so this stage is always on and these two relays just direct the signal path this little orange wire right here is off the TR transformer uh, TR relay right here and this is uh, the receive link so this one this is a very short distance about two inches so from the output uh, we have the input that comes comes in off of the TR relay on receive it's processed through here, and then it goes into the bandpass filter. On transmit, uh, the signal path is reversed so that essentially you got through the bandpass filter, goes through this amplifier stage, and then goes to the transmit pre-driver, pre and the, or, or rather the, from the pre-driver to the driver. This is another 2N2219 or 2N3866, and this goes over here to the IRF510. And which is our final amplifier, and then we have a, a, a low pass filter right here and a TR relay on, on out. Right here is a single transistor switch so we can key in a linear amplifier. This little relay right here handles uh, the power switching, and you'll notice I got a lot of yellow wires here, and there's some orange wires. Anything that's yellow 
is on transmit. Anything orange is on receive. Anything red means that it's powered all the time. And so uh, this is uh, pretty much the lineup uh, of not too many devices, but works uh, extremely well. This is a one-band unit uh, dictated principally by the band-pass filter and the low-pass filter here uh, that puts this on uh, 40 meters. And here's the front panel, and uh, essentially we're able to uh, tune this thing as we normally do. And it can go on upper side band or lower side band. Uh, this is the mic input. This is the audio output. And originally I had the mic, mic input here over where the audio volume was and ergonomically it just make any sense so the two controls are essentially you're going to be tuning uh, the main tuning dial and then the audio volume which I have into an external amplifier got a little local noise here this morning a guy running a welding machine next door this panel space right here is going to house the speaker I'm I'm looking for a nice uh, two and a half inch either oval or round speaker and then I'll uh, adapt the front panel for that speaker so this is the uh, ZL2CTM um, transceiver, 40 meters. My second build, initially I had built this on two aluminum plates and just no way to connect, the, connect them. So I took this chassis and using the aluminum plates as a drilling template I, and using the reverse mirror image, I taped it to the back and uh, to the bottom and then just drilled all the holes through. And then the um, front panel here with the... Uh, what I normally have for the uh, LCD is I would use my CNC mill to cut that out, but uh, can't put can't chuck this up into the mill. So uh, I drilled out the holes, a rough drill, and then uh, used the file to file to the final size. So uh, I've had this on the air, and uh, matter of fact, last night I worked the East Coast or running an external lamp. So this is Pete N6QW. This is ZL2 CTM. Uh, transceiver that I've just got built. I've got version one. It's in breadboard, and uh, I'm going to keep it that way so I can do a little uh, refinement. Uh, it's pretty early in the morning, and we're hearing just a few stations on. Here we are, ZL2 CTM transceiver as built by N6QW.